As you'll notice, the rectangular marquee tool is the second tool in your toolbar right up here. Its shortcut is M, but I'm just going to go ahead and click on it to select it. And what the rectangular marquee tool does is it allows you to create rectangular selection areas by clicking and dragging. And what a selection area is, real quick, I'm just going to grab my paintbrush to show you guys. It basically makes it so you can only work within your selection area. So if I paint, you'll notice I can't go outside of the borders. Let me go ahead and undo that and move on to the next tool. Well, first, if you'll take a look up here at the rectangular marquee tools settings, we have a couple different ones. So the first is just a new selection. So every time you click and drag, you'll create a new rectangle to work inside of. If you add it, if you create it to add to selection, pardon me, if you change it to add to selection, you can click and drag and you'll see your selection area just grows with the new bounding boxes. Minus front allows you to subtract from your selection area. So now this selection area won't be a part of it. Or you can go intersect with selection and only the parts of your selection that intersect will be the new selection area. So as you can see, this box right here is where the two selection areas intersected. The next tool underneath the rectangular marquee tool is the elliptical marquee tool. You'll notice that all of the settings are the same and it operates the same way. The only difference is that these selection areas are elliptic or circular if you hold shift. Next up, we'll have our single row marquee tool, which basically creates a line one pixel thick wherever you click for a selection. And the single column marquee tool operates in the same way, only vertically. And that does it for our rectangular marquee tool group.